Hello, welcome to our channel. In this video, you will learn about image segmentation using watershed algorithm. So, don't miss anything and be with us at the end of the video. Let's start with introduction. The watershed algorithm is used for segmentation in some complex images if we apply simple thresholding and contour detection then will not be able to give proper results. The watershed algorithm is based on extracting shore background and foreground and then using markers will make a watershed run and detect the exact boundaries. This algorithm generally helps in detecting touching and overlapping objects in the image. For markers, it can be user-defined like manually clicking and getting the coordinates for markers and also using some defined algorithms such as thresholding or any morphological operations. Due to the presence of noise, we can't apply watershed algorithms directly. Let's dive into the limitation of contour detection. Let's see image code for limitation of contour detection for image segmentation. With image code implementation, you can get result about limitation of contour detection for image segmentation. As we can see from the output, contour detection is not able to do the proper segmentation because of the joint cons. This is where segmentation algorithms like watershed come into picture. Next understand watershed algorithm for image segmentation. These are the following steps for image segmentation using the watershed algorithm. First is finding the shore background using morphological operations like opening and dilation. Second is finding the shore foreground using distance transform. Third is unknown area is the area that neither lies in the foreground nor background and is used it as a marker for the watershed algorithm. Background Extraction Using this image code you can easily implement background extraction. After implementation of background extraction you will get output as you can see like three images. Now for foreground extraction. With using this image code you can implement foreground extraction easily and also you can implement foreground extra finding the unknown area means neither shore foreground nor for background. Here you can see the output for foreground extraction and ground extra finding the unknown area. Now here in image code you can see how to applying watershed algorithm. After implementation with this code of watershed algorithm, you will get result as you seen here in output image. Now, let's understand diverse applications of multidimensional image processing. With profuse data visualization, imaging processes are undergoing disruption. Deep learning technology has entered the area with a new angle of multidimensional image processing. The applications in various verticals are undeniable too. Transforming images digitally with specific functionality expands its applications. From simple to dash D to 3, D and now multidimensional properties have augmented the entire process. This video revisits the main types of image processing and examples related to the creation segmentation of binary images, quantum dots and steel grains. Now let's understand five types of imaging processes for accuracy and location. First is visualization to detect objects not clear in the image. Second is recognition to distinguish objects in the image. Third is sharpening and restoration, enhance the original image by sharpening it. Fourth is pattern recognition, measure various patterns around the objects. Fifth is retrieval, search digital images similar to the original image. When the image is acquired, it undergoes processing steps and they relate to acquisition, enhancement, restoration, coloring, multi-resolution, compression, morphing. Now understand applications multidimensional image processing. We visualize several objects digitally at any given moment. Due to image segmentation, 
our eyes can distinguish the uniqueness of the shape. It helps in annotating and uses technology, it makes it more appealing to the eyes. Medical image is one such example that has moved from 2D to 3D and now multidimensional angels. Next is segmenting a binary image. A binary image has a pixel of two intense values, I black and white. They are ideal for image processing as they can separate an object from its background. With segmentation, it is possible to put a label on each pixel, background and the object. A binary image is sourced from a grayscale by thresholding. A histogram of intensities is created. The threshold indicates pixels that fall into white or black. Further steps include extraction of background from the object or number of objects. It is done with the connected component technique. Next is segmenting the quantum dots. Various facets of science have used quantum dots the tiniest specks that are concentrated in a single part. They are also considered zero-dimensional. Currently, nanotechnology is using this process to deliver quantum dots, which are also called artificial atoms. In addition, where are they applied? Right from our home lighting systems, as they are made for semiconductor material to detecting biological warfare detectors and solar cells. Pretty much all is possible as they make light through color with wavelength and frequency. They are best used for optical images and are good alternatives to pigments and dyes in reflective paints. In the case of solar cells, this is a breakthrough technology. Next understand segmenting steel grains. Multidimensional image processing can well be used effectively in segmenting steel grains. In a good image, the light and dark areas are quite distinctive. In the process, oversegmentation brings bad results. If such a problem occurs, the minima can be removed to modify the image. This is called watershed transformation. With the introduction of austenitic steel and other microalloys, the grain of steel assumes importance for some industry verticals. To have the correct structural components segmenting steel grains is critical. It affects the hardness, durability and strength. Image enhancement ensures that the right grade of steel is made after grain analysis. At the end of the video I want to say that. For further information on multidimensional image processing and its diverse applications do let us know. We shall be glad to share our knowledge and experience. In this video, we have discussed the image segmentation algorithm with the limitation of contour detection. We have seen how to use watershed algorithms with the processing of images using machine learning development solutions. If you have any query regarding this topic, feel free to contact us. Our email ID is info at agesoftech.com. Our contact number is plus 919824172020. Our office address is Royal Square, first floor, office number 110, near Shilp Tower, Tagore Road. Rajkot 360001, Gujarat, India. Thank you for watching at the end of the video. For more video do like and